Hello everyone, and thank you for being with us today. My name is Ricardo Ferraris, I work for Natic International Division, and I'm in charge of retinal imaging products. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Nidec Mirante, which in my opinion is the pinnacle of more than a decade developing high-quality retinal imaging technologies, now finally fully integrated into one single powerful multimodal imaging platform. So let me show you what Mirante does and how it works. So here is what you can do with the NIDEC Mirante. Dynamic SLO-based fluorescein angiography, dynamic SLO-based endocyanin angiography, green and blue autofluorescence, OCT and OCT angiography, retro mode imaging, color imaging, monochromatic imaging for infrared, red, green and blue, and ultra wide field for FA, ICG, color and retro mode. So let's now see how to capture these images. And let's start with color. You first have to align with the patient's eye, place the optical head in front of it, and move towards the patient until the fundus of the eye is completely displayed. At this point, you can trigger the optimized function, which compensates for possible refractive errors. And once this is done, you can grab your picture by pressing the central joystick button. And the same procedure applies when you want to capture fundus autofluorescence images with either blue light, which is the most common form of autofluorescence around, or with green light to minimize the absorption effect due to macular pigment in the foveal area. And in this very same way, you can also capture retro mode images. Retro mode is a unique technology that captures the backscatter component of infrared light to create this innovative effect of retroillumination of the retina. Dynamic fluorescein angiographies can also be taken. As well as dynamic endocyanin angiographies. or even both FA and ICG at the same time if you've injected the two dyes simultaneously. When an OCT scan is taken, one extra step has to be taken care of. These two white dots, in fact, have to be focused and well-centered to make sure the walking distance is proper. We can then proceed optimizing the images and compensating the refractive errors, and once this is done, we can capture our OCT scan by pressing the central joystick button. Please notice that the built-in eye tracking system is always enabled by default to ensure that our OCT scans are taken in place even in case of poor fixation. So, the images we've seen so far were taken in standard field, which corresponds to 89 degrees in diagonal for SLO-based images and up to 16.5 mm for OCT scans. But remember that in FA, ICG, retro mode imaging and color imaging, thanks to this extra attachable ultra-wide field lens, we can expand the field of view up to 163 degrees. Let me show you how it works. The ultra-wide field lens is extremely simple to use. Just pay attention to the notch that has to be at 12 o'clock. Then softly position the lens in front of the optical head until the magnetic socket will help you place the lens in proper position. And to remove the lens, just pull it off softly. The lens can be put on and off at any time, even during an ongoing examination. As the attachable ultra-wide field lens is more protrudent, one trick to try avoiding touching the patient is to swing temporarily and tilt inferiorly the optical hat. We can then proceed with the optimization of the fundus pictures and the capture of it. And in this very same way, we can also take ultra-wide field fluorescein and endocyanin and geographies, ultra-wide field color images, and ultra-wide field retro mode images. And when it comes to reviewing the SLO images, you can take advantage of the fly-through function. 
The fly-through function puts in one-to-one -one anatomical correspondence a larger set of images coming from the same fundus taken in different modalities by stacking them up while registering them. This allows you to scroll through this stack of images and see easily what the same anatomical point looks like in the various modalities. This ensures maximum accuracy for your diagnosis. And in terms of reproducibility, let's see how easy it is to repeat an OCT scan in the same retinal location as a previously acquired examination. In this case, we're taking a first exam in a relatively peripheral area. That wouldn't be so simple to find a second time. But thanks to the built-in eye tracking system, all we have to do is to set the first examination as a baseline and then tell the system to repeat it. As you can see, the system tracks and recognizes the fundus and repositions the scan exactly in the same anatomical position. It's then extremely easy to compare the baseline and the follow-up examinations one next to the other for maximum accuracy and reproducibility. So this is what you can do with the Nidec Mirante. All these modalities into one single powerful imaging platform. Thank you very much for your kind attention.